Contracts are exchanged. Paperwork is signed. Trossard is an Arsenal player. This is a £21 million deal with £6 million of add-ons. Total cost £27 million for one of the most established, most recognisable wingers and attackers outside of the Premier League's traditional top six. Trossard has had a number of brilliant seasons and is a player that is universally rated. Tottenham Hotspur were looking at him. Tottenham Hotspur made an official bid on Monday to bring him in. And there was th thought and feeling at White Hart Lane they could convince the player to come, slowly increase the bid and bring in an additional piece to their attack, which is so desperately needed. But of course, after Arsenal's disappointment with Mahalo Mudrik, they have stepped in. He told his representation straight. I only want Arsenal if they want me. Reject everybody else and let's get this deal done. It is now over the line. He is now an Arsenal player. Hit the like and the share buttons. And there's some more good news for Arsenal fans. More spending in January is expected. And confirmation that Declan Rice in the summer is on. Very positive news for Arsenal this morning as they, or this afternoon, or this evening, wherever you are around the world, as they land the deal for Leandro Trossard. As I've already mentioned in the last few days, a very capable, very talented player, somebody considering the club that he's at. And I mean, no disrespect to Brighton, the level of output he has produced has been very, very good indeed. Now, this is quintessentially a backup option for Arsenal. But it's also a player that will believe in his ability and he'll think that with the right opportunity, which he's sure to get under Mikel Arteta, he can force his way to in and around the Arsenal first team. And that's what Arsenal should expect from anyone they sign. They don't just want a player who's here to make up numbers. They want someone here, here, here who wants to move the needle, wants to push them forward. And Trossard is most certainly that. It's a good deal from a structural point of view. Around £90,000 per week is going to be his salary, which is expected. Come the summer, he would have been a free agent. It means his, his salary would have been increased dramatically. You're going to one of the biggest clubs in the world who are in a title race, who will most certainly be in the Champions League next year. Wages need to reflect this. On top of that, you have to focus upon the situation surrounding who they had to fight off as well. Tottenham, Marseille, and a number of other clubs were looking at the player were active with the player, and had already made official bids into Brighton. So Arsenal had to move quickly. Arsenal had to move swiftly as they wanted. They want the player available to play Manchester United this weekend. We know he turned down Tottenham to join them, so that's already going to stand him in good stead and in good favour. And there's a lot of talk at Arsenal about why Arsenal switched away from the youth policy of signings. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think they have. I think this is a situation where would they have preferred Mahalo Mudrik? Yes. But clearly Trossard was a high priority signing for them. Clearly he was. And this hasn't, this has happened to Arsenal on a couple of occasions. And it's worked out well for them. Maybe not with going from young to old, but you know, they, they went in for Buendia before they went in to sign Odegaard permanently. That's turned out perfectly. They wanted Lis Lissandro Martinez. They ended up with Sinchenko. And as happy as Man United fans are with Lissandro, it's not as though Arsenal at this moment in time are missing him. Gabriel Jesus' centre-backs started the season with a few sketchy moments, but has become a colossal figure at the back again. And Zinchenko has been a revelation for Arsenal. So missing out on your number one target and bringing somebody else in isn't necessarily the end of the world for Arsenal Football Club. And we've seen that in the past. This whole we only buy young players, I think is kind of semi-true. They've got one of the younger squads out there. But Arsenal will add the right quality irrespective of age. Arsenal Football Club is littered with history of signing players over 25 that have been brilliant for them. Dennis Bergkamp, Santi Cazula, Arshavin, more so in the short term. Of course, the, the, the 
the famous Ian Wright, all came in 20, between 26 and 29 years of age. And I'm sure there are other examples that Arsenal fans can pluck out of the air, which you know their knowledge of their club is going to be better than mine on these things that have come in and done well from a particular age. The fact that you know, you're not just going to sign youth players all the time. You're not just going to sign 18, 19, 20-year-olds on a consistent basis. And you didn't in the summer. You know, the Zinchenkos and the Gabriel Jesuses are not exactly young, young. They're not old. They're not in the twilight of their career, but they're not young either. So overall, a very, very good piece of business. And I think one of the most positive elements to come out of this for Arsenal is the fact that the club aren't done necessarily in January. It doesn't mean they'll sign anybody else, but they are looking at other opportunities in other areas, namely midfield. Now, we know that summer work has already begun. We know that the club is already looking at Declan Rice has started the work now, talking to the players' reps about what Declan Rice wants, where he would fit in. Of course, working on the deal financially already by, you know, touching base with the football club via intermediaries, working out their own transfer budgets and just starting to work on those deals now. Arsenal will be very, very proactive. And they should be because they are in the title race and they're seen as the favourites by many now to win the English Premier League. But one thing that I think most would agree with is that they are eschewing for the Champions League. And this puts Arsenal into a very different light. Yes, Arsenal have signed top quality players without Champions League football in year, years gone by. There's no doubt about that. But having it can be a major difference. If Arsenal was still sitting in fifth, or sixth, seventh, eighth, I don't think Declan Rice picks them. I don't think a Jude Bellingham picks them. I don't think, I think if, if Spurs were currently sitting third or second in the league playing well and Arsenal were back in eighth like two years ago, I think Trossard tells his representation, listen, let's just look at Tottenham. They're in the Champions League. Arsenal are still in this poor phase. I don't want to be there. Yes, you, it, it doesn't work that way with every single deal, obviously, but it puts you in a stronger position to be able to negotiate and what you can offer players. So the fact that Arsenal are now moving on to new signings already. We know that Trossard is done and over the line, but it means the club are in a very comfortable position. They know where they're moving. They know the direction they're moving in. They know the direction they're moving in um, in terms of the progression, the future of the football club. And I think it's very, very clear to rivals that Arsenal are very, very serious indeed. Trossard will be a very, very good addition. He will come into the Europa League games. He'll come into cup games. He'll be that impact player from the bench to begin with but who knows this guy can put in performances like we've seen against Liverpool in recent years there's absolutely no doubt about it that he may that, that, he, that you know he could force his he could force his way genuinely into this first team I think there's no doubt about that whatsoever but the deal is done the deal is over the line he is an Arsenal player more signings expected between January and, and the summer and big signings as well at Arsenal I do want your thoughts and I want your feelings below. Make sure you're smashing like buttons and subscribing. Until next time, take care. Goodbye, God bless, and I'll see you soon.